drought and dreams do come true. So let's get you to those highlights off to Calgary. We've been talking a lot about these Grey Cup droughts. 29 years since Winnipeg last captured the title. Hamilton's drought, not quite as long. Still not great though. Dates back to 1999. Dane Evans replaced the injured Jeremiah Masoli back in August and the Ticats haven't missed a beat. But after Evans threw an early interception, the Ticats back on offense and Evans this time stripped by Willie Jefferson. Adam Big Hill recovers. The Ticats turn the ball over three times in the first quarter. Let's go back to pregame. We talked about Andrew Harris motivating the troops. You got my back! I got your back! You got my back! I got your back! You got my back! I got your back! back. 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 Alright, let's go there, baby. Win! 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 Bubbles on three, one, two, three, bubbles! Oh yeah, I think the CFL's rushing leader was ready to go. Hi! Harris rumbling 15 yards to open the scoring 7 nothing Bombers. Harris, we know, a threat on the ground. Also through the air, we thought we saw that in the second quarter. Chris Streveler to Harris. Nice grab and another touchdown. Harris, 88 total yards in the first half. Winnipeg in front. And the Bombers winning the special teams battle as well. Oh, German native with the huge hit. The Bombers up 21-6 at the break, and it was time for country music star Keith Urban to take the stage. It's crazy how the best days of my life is how it's wasted. Nice touch there. Let's get back to the game. And the Ticats needing a bit of a spark in the second half. Brandon Banks, fresh off being named MOP, hit hard and bad news. Out for the rest of the game with a lower body injury. What a huge loss for Hamilton. The Ticats down by 18, lining up for the field goal. And we get some trickery. Luke Tasker takes the toss and gets the first down. Two plays after that, Evans to Braylon Addison and Hamilton in the end zone. First touchdown of the game. That lead down to 12. Let's go to the fourth. Hamilton driving again. Evans to Mike Jones. Can't make the grab. So instead of it being first and goal, the Ticats forced to punt. And here it comes, the hardware. The Grey Cup making its way down to field level. As for Harris, Sally's well, not slowing down. Eight minutes to go. Second and 17. He breaks not one, not two, but three tackles. Picks up that first down. That would lead to a field goal. The Bombers back up 18, and time becoming a major issue for the Ticats. Five minutes to go. Jackson Jeffco not only strips Evans, but also recovers the fumble. The Ticats' fifth turnover of the game. And the longest active Grey Cup drought, 29 years, about to come to an end. Mike O'Shea, it's orange. <laughs> I knew it was coming. They have put the win back in Winnipeg. The Blue Bombers, 2019 Grey Cup champions. Let the celebration commence. Andrew Harris, we mentioned this, becoming the first to win the most outstanding player and the most outstanding Canadian in the same Grey Cup. The Bombers 29 year drought, it is over. What a moment. Winnipeg, the 2019 Grey Cup champions. 33-12 ended up being the final. Winnipeg has now won the last six playoff games against Hamilton. The Ticats haven't beat the Bombers in the postseason since the 1989 East Final. Hamilton, that offense has been outstanding all season long, held to just 12 points in this one, the lowest output of this entire season. But the night belongs to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. What was going through your mind knowing that you guys had accomplished the goal? I honestly couldn't believe it. It's uh, it's surreal right now. 
so proud of my teammates, my city. I love you guys. We're coming home with that cup. Woo! It was uh, all game. I, you know, we were in the zone. I was feeling it, and uh, man, what a great game. First people you think of when you when you know that you've won the great cup. Oh man, everyone that taught me along the way, all the haters out there that talk. Sorry about language, but this is for you. I can't even put it into words. I just love this group of guys, these coaches, guys that have fought all year and love putting it on the line for the person next to them. Was there any doubt in your mind, was there any doubt in your mind that you would be able to finish this game? No. I mean, the whole season, it's just guys laying it on the line for the teammates and it's just, you got, you want to be out there. This is the great cup. This is the great cup. Uh, no. These my brothers, man. We fought all year. The ups and the downs. Fighting adversity, you know what I'm saying? Going against the CFL, they, they betting against us. Man, it's, it's, it means everything, man. How does the top of the staircase feel? Oh, pretty good right now. I mean, it's going to take a, a, a little while to, to sink in, really. I'm just happy for our guys, obviously. Uh, you know, to play such a good game uh, when it mattered most, I think that's really impressive. It's a great learning uh uh, spot for them, right? I mean, they've learned all year. We've faced a lot of adversity. And then to come out and play your best when it really mattered, it's really impressive. The Bombers have now won six of their last seven Grey Cup meetings with the Ticats. Winnipeg led for just under four minutes in two regular season games. That's it. But they took the lead just three and a half minutes in, and the Bombers didn't trail at all after that. Hamilton, though, on the flip side, now owns that longest Grey Cup active drought, 20 years and counting.